Kotlin, Kotlin, Kotlin. Kotlin seems to be everywhere. But is it really as cool as people say? I think there's no better way than making up your own mind by building a small but practical real-world Kotlin project. And in this episode, you're going to start with the very boring stuff, and that is creating a Kotlin project from scratch with Maven so that you can hammer out some Kotlin code. Let's check it out. Okay, so here's what you're going to build. A small account statements library. What does that mean? Imagine you bought 10 items on Amazon. You have a bank account. The bank account shows 10 transactions. And you want to have a nice little PDF containing all these transactions and summing up your balance and whatnot. And as I just said, it all starts with the very boring stuff of creating a project from scratch. So open up a terminal window, go to a directory of your liking, and then don't cry, it will be over soon. But start with saying Maven Archetype Generate. And as you know, that might take a second because now you're going to get 2000 something archetypes displayed. You're going to use the default one with the default version. Then pick a, an appropriate group ID. I will call the artifact ID and uh, the, the project directory account statements. Version and package is fine. You create that and you should be good to go. You open up the project in IntelliJ. You can see it here. And it's a plain Java project, but that's what I want to show you, especially how to mix Java and Kotlin code. Let me just get right into uh, presentation mode. Good. So nothing too exciting. As you can see, you've got um, source main Java here. You've got a POM XML file. It defaults to compiler source 1.7. Let's make it 1.8 for now. And it has a couple of plugins in here. Enable Maven project auto import. But now that's not too exciting. We want to get Kotlin up and running. And you can open up a browser and look for the Kotlin documentation. Because everything I'm doing, you'll find in the documentation. There's a section called Tools using Maven. And there you can see, well, you need a dependency inside of your Maven project. That dependency is called Kotlin STD lib. And by default, Kotlin targets Java 6. And as you can see down here, if you're targeting JDK 7 or JDK 8, there's different libraries. And I want to use the Kotlin STD lib JDK 8 library. So in any case, let's copy that block. Go back here. Right, I shouldn't have copied the whole dependency section. It's just one dependency. Then uh, copy the property. That's the latest Kotlin version at the time of this recording. But doesn't matter what Kotlin version you're using here. Right, so you've got the dependency. That seems fine. And now you need to hook up the Kotlin compiler with the standard Maven process. So back to the documentation page. And when you scroll down, there's a couple of sections here. But I want you to focus on compiling Kotlin and Java sources. So you can have your Java classes in source main Java, Kotlin classes in source main Kotlin. It will just work. So you can copy the whole plugin section here, like so. Go back. Make sure not to paste it under plugin management. That's just the plugin definition. You want to have real plugins down here, right? And as you can see, it is the Kotlin Maven plugin with the Kotlin version you specified up there. And when it compiles and test compiles, it will look at source main Kotlin, source main Java, these two folders. And now it's actually also time for you to create these folders. So in the main folder, create source Kotlin, source main Kotlin, and uh, the same for the test folder, like so. And as always, what you can do is I think it's called reimport all Maven projects, right? And then after a short while, we'll see the Kotlin folder now is also blue. It's a proper source folder in IntelliJ. And there's also a green test folder, so that worked. Now let's go back to the documentation. Let's see if we need anything else. Incremental compilation to make your builds faster. You can enable incremental compilation. You can actually do that uh, to get a bit of a speed benefit. Right, let's paste it in here. And annotation support, we don't need it in this episode. 
coroutines also not. And in the end, you want to have a self-contained jar file. That means we want to call Maven Clean Package. You want to be able to run your jar file. So let's copy that section down here as well. Again, to the plugin block, like so. It's the Maven Assembly plugin, and you need to define a main class. And at the moment, I don't have a Kotlin class, so I'll just put in the uh, default app class inside here. And now let's see if our project is actually still working. Let's run a Maven Clean package without having built, without having put in any Kotlin classes so far. You run Maven Clean package. As you can see, the Kotlin Maven plugin actually is running. Kotlin Maven plugin says no sources found. Skipping Kotlin compile, which is fine. And then it runs the usual Java compile phase, compiling one source file, which is our app class. And in the end, tests are being run and the build is successful. Great, that means the scaffolding work, but now it's time, actually let's delete, do something, let's delete the app class and the uh, app test class because we want to write some Kotlin now. Let's create, first of all, let's create a new package, just like in Java. Let's call it com.marcobela. But inside, you're going to create something which is called a Kotlin file. Not a class, you can call the uh, file hello world, for example. As you can see, it's empty. It has a package definition up here. It has the kt Kotlin file name suffix. No, I don't want to install the new plugin version. And now let's write a main method. And the interesting thing about Kotlin is you don't have, like in Java, you don't have to have one class per file. You don't even have to have a class. You can just start writing a function. So you have your function definition, fun. It's the main method, right? And you have your arguments and it's a string array. It looks slightly different than uh, when, uh, what, what it would like in Java, but you can make it out the type, that's the type of the variable, args, array, string, but other than that, nothing else changed. And inside, you maybe wanna do something very simple like saying, hello world. And that's your main method, and that's fine. But now you have a function inside of that file. You can also have classes. You don't have to have just one class, you can have many classes. Imagine, and we're going to talk about all these concepts in later episodes, you want to have a user class. In fact, you want to have a value object. And you don't want to have all their boilerplate with getters and setters like in Java. So in Kotlin, you'll just say, well, my user is going to have one field, it's called name, it's going to be of type string, and that's everything you need right here. And you could create a couple of more classes, whatever you want, but we'll leave it at just one class for now. And then inside here, you might want to say, well, let's create a new user. And as you can see, it's the val keyword, just like in the new Java version. You want to create a new user without the new keyword. You pass in a name, and the name is, let's say, Marco. And instead of hello world, you want to print out the user's name. And you do that by doing some nice little string replacements. And as you can see, you have full proper ID support in IntelliJ. You can just say dollar, put in user.name, and hopefully that prints out hello Marco, like so. Now let's run our application and see if that worked. Takes a second to compile and to run, but hopefully a window will pop up and saying hello Marco. Isn't that cool and sexy? Because that gives you already a taste of what Kotlin can do. But now let's go back to our pomxml file. Inside here, you want to say the main class is now our hello world file, our hello world class. Let's also complete here, right? Like so. So that's basically references that file. And then we open up a terminal window, do a Maven clean package. Hope that Maven also compiles our Kotlin file, and it looks like it did. There are no test classes, which is fine. So test compile says no sources found, but compile, whoops, compile the Kotlin compile says, I compiled one Kotlin file, which is fine. So now in your target directory, you have a jar with dependencies. You run the jar, 
and hopefully you'll see Hello Marco and that's what you do. Great. So now you know all the steps involved if you want to get started with Kotlin and Maven and even together with Java. So that's the dependencies you need. And that means you're ready for more Kotlin and more in detail explanations. Congratulations, you have a Kotlin project up and running. And up next, you're going to connect straight away to a database. And along the way, you learn a whole lot about Kotlin's sexy language features. So let's get right after it.